So, this is a tough thing to talk about. Um, but I feel like I have to with all the bullshit going on in the world right now. <sighs> of course, all lives matter. That's the American way. But this moment, it is more important than ever to recognize that black lives matter. Now, I may not completely understand this situation, but just know that I stand. I'm with you guys. I love you all. Continue to donate to your local charities. Continue to peacefully and safely attend protests because your voices are being heard. Justice is starting to be served, finally. No matter the color of our skin, we are all coming together to fight the good fight against these terrible, horrific, heinous acts that are going on. And this review and all of my reviews that I'm going to be posting throughout the month of June are dedicated to all of you guys out there fighting the good fight. All the people who have been oppressed by these stupid, ridiculous acts against them wrongfully. I encourage you, yes, let's continue to fight the good fight. Now is the time more than ever, no matter the color of our skin, to come together as one. We got this. Just Mercy was directed by Destin Daniel Cretton and it stars Michael B. Jordan, Jamie Foxx, and Brie Larson. The film is based off of the famous memoir of the same name by Harvard Law graduate Brian Stevenson and it tells the true story of Walter McMillan, played by Jamie Foxx, a man wrongfully imprisoned and convicted for the murder of a young girl on the basis of only one false testimony. Stevenson, author of the memoir played by Michael B. Jordan, travels to Alabama. He has turned down all the more lucrative cases in the hopes to help fight for the people who could not otherwise afford proper legal representation. In 1989, he meets McMillan on death row, and the film follows their journey together to appeal the wrongful convictions against him. Now, unfortunately, I did miss this film when it hit theaters last December. However, I did buy the Blu-ray for this film, and that's how I watched it. And Warner Brothers also just announced that this film was going to be free for people to download through the entire month of June. Considering the things that are going on in the world right now, Just Mercy is absolutely a very important film for you all to check out. Now, I will say, this film is not the happiest film to watch. It was quite aggravating at times, actually. I was raised to be tolerant of everybody and to treat people the way I wanted to be treated. And to see the things that happened in this film, it just really... Having the knowledge that this black man was wrongfully convicted for something he didn't do just based off of one false testimony, it was so frustrating. I mean, as I was watching this film, I was basically just sitting down, just looking at the screen, and there were a lot of times where I wanted to just get up and, just like that Poltergeist movie, I just wanted to burst through the screen and poof, fix the problems right there. Made me want to do something. Point being, this is not the happiest film to sit through. Nevertheless, I cannot emphasize how investing this story was and how well made this movie was. And one of the reasons I was so invested in this film is because of Michael B. Jordan. He is, without a doubt, one of the best actors of his current generation. He knocks it out of the park every role he's given. I love him as Donnie Creed. I love him as Killmonger. And I loved him as Brian Stevenson. His determination and his charisma in this film is so infectious and he almost disappears into the performance. He is so breathtaking to watch. What's so inspiring about it is that this is a real guy. He's essentially a modern day Atticus Finch. He has such an incredible story. And Michael B. Jordan was definitely the right actor to bring his story to life. 
Speaking of investing performances, I got to talk about Jamie Foxx as well. He is one of my favorite actors working right now, namely in films like Collateral and Django Unchained. I love him in both of those roles, namely. And I got to say, this is pro this is one of the best performances of his entire career, if not the best performance of his entire career. And keep in mind, this is a man that already holds an Oscar for his performance as Ray Charles. What really struck me about Fox's powerful performance is how subdued and quiet it was. A lot of his dialogue is almost delivered at a whisper. It just goes to show you that volume doesn't always necessarily convey power. I mean, just a phenomenal, super powerful performance from Jamie Foxx here. In my opinion, one of his best, and this is a guy that's already done it all. All of the actors were absolutely wonderful. Brie Larson is in this film incredible as always. Tim Blake Nelson is in this film. He is very good as well. O'Shea Jackson Jr. also. Really, really powerful performance from him. And this is definitely not an easy story to tell, and this cast definitely pulled it off with such power. Director Destin Daniel Cretton definitely knows what he's doing behind the camera here. The way he places his actors in certain scenes the way he's placing the camera in certain scenes just conveys so much more meaning than the scene itself and the script already has. It adds so much more levity to such a truly unbelievable story. I can't wait to see what Destin Daniel Cretton does next, including the new Shang-Chi movie for Marvel Studios. Honestly, Just Mercy is an incredible cinematic achievement. As far as story goes, it is truly investing. It's truly angering. And that's why I don't know how many times I'm going to rewatch Just Mercy just because of how mad I was throughout this whole film. But nevertheless, I cannot understate how incredible the craftsmanship was on this film. Compelling performances, great direction, investing story. Just Mercy is definitely a film you cannot miss, and I'm going to give it an A. I really don't think there's much else to say, guys. This film really was an investing story. It's not going to be the happiest story, like I said. It's going to be extremely angering and frustrating to see the things that go on in this film. But I will say that the film also has a way of uplifting its audience when these characters are facing the most insurmountable odds and adversities and they find a way to overcome them. Definitely check out this film, guys. It's definitely worth it. And I'll also say, the film's also inspired me to sit down and read this memoir. Can't wait. Well, guys... That's it for the review. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. Let me know your thoughts about Just Mercy down in the comments section below. Also, I'd like to know what you guys would like me to review next. And I just posted reviews on this channel of The Vast of Night and Togo, so look out for those. Also, look out late this weekend or early Monday morning for my review of NXT TakeOver In Your House. As always, you guys are all the best. Keep fighting the good fight. Stay safe out there. We got this. If you want to see more from me, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And with all that being said, back talk, commence. <laughs>